Hi guys, this is Pastoi. Welcome to episode 10 of my playthrough for Escape from Tarkov. Now, uh, during the downtime between the episodes, I did sell the lab's key card that we found early on. I think it was the first episode. Um, and there's a major reason behind that. I've, I've, I spent probably about 20 minutes sitting there thinking about this. At the moment, they're selling for around about, I, th I think I sold it for 240,000 rubles. Now, for that, I can actually get my flash drives. Now, the, the problem is with the uh, with the key card was there's a quest later on where you need to find them in raid. And if we need to find them in raid, uh, we'll, ha we'll have to get them at, at that point, which is sucky. But getting these two flash drives is actually probably more important because uh, we can move on to the next gear quest, which at the moment uh, we're stuck here. And the next quest is actually really important for us. So what I'm going to end up having to do as well is I'm going to sell this shotgun. Uh, I think I need 400k pretty much exactly. So we might sell both these shotguns, get these flash drives, and then uh, we can hand those. Ones. So now the, the thing was with the, with getting into the next quest, as much as we have to bite the bullet to do this, we might be able to fly, find flash drives in the future. But getting to this quest here, this quest is pretty annoying, so if you can get it done earlier, the better. But the one after it is Chemical Part 1, and that opens up the Peacekeeper storyline, which means we can start doing some shoreline quests, which is what I want to do. I want to get on the other maps as well. Customs is really rough, uh, and I always, I try and stack up as many quests as possible on Customs at the same time. And that's why I've got this quest here, the Golden Swag, to do with also marking the, uh, the tankers and stuff like that. So for this quest, we need the Trailer Park Key, which we actually get from here and we also need the 303 key for this one not the 203 keys so uh we're gonna have to buy one of them oh, they're very common the 303 key is very common so uh, we'll grab one of those it should be super cheap there it is and that means we have to leave these keys out here like this. now i've got the 114 key there i was going to take this in for the for the run i uh, will still got the vepa here the, the issue is the 114 key has got a safe we can get a flash drive in there as well um, and we also do need to find flash drives in raid. So it's it's one of those keys that it's really handy to use. My fear is if we die, we're losing these markers. And the markers, unless they've changed in price, around the 20,000 ruble mark. So 15,000 rubles. Not a massive deal, but just something to take note of. So you try and prioritize this space as, uh, as much as you can. The stuff you don't want to lose. Once we get this quest done, these keys are absolutely useless. There's nothing really in those rooms that really matter, so we can chuck them. Uh, the 114 key we, we want to hold on to. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those things. To be all honest, we'd probably be better off doing that. We could buy another 303 key every time we die. Um, this is how it works, really. So, anyway, let's get into a raid. All right, so we late spawned. And we're probably the worst spawn we could possibly get for this. Oh. We're going to go back. We're going to go back through it. I want to mark that tanker right at the start. I know this is like the worst possible situation. We do have contacts on at the moment. I don't know how much I like wearing contacts at the moment. This is the least, the least favorite thing to do. We just hit endurance level 2, which means we can unlock that hideout upgrade as well. I just want to get these takers done because even if you die, at least they stay marked. So if you can get get them done nice and early, then the, the deaths don't punish you as much. It probably would have been a smart idea to just to bring in, say, two markers and do it over two raids. But the way I see it is always balls deep. Always balls deep. Go hard, go home. A lot more punishing, but that's how I level so fast. I always... Take the risk. Open base off. Oh my god, that was so stupid. Well, hopefully the late spawn meant that majority of players already left this area, which is possible. You know what? Now, if you search something and spam uh, prone, which is X, you sometimes get away with doing what I just did then. Alright, so our first tank is over here. We're just doing a lap of construction. Oh, sorry, customs. 
That's how we see it. On a full lap. Plant that. We're gonna wait 30 seconds. This one's gonna take the full raid to get done. If we do this properly, we have to go all the way to dorms, come back here, plant the uh place the other thing down. And we have to go we have to go through construction. We have to we have to do a full lap of uh, customs here. This is gonna be an interesting raid. If we can get this all done, be a job well done. Sure. Yeah, that was inside uh customs area too. Do we want to get involved? Thought I heard someone then. Let's check for our 310k. We've got to come back down this way anyway. let them deal with it. So the, the hut we have to get to is right in front of us right here. Apparently we broke our arm too. It tossed. That's just mean. That is just mean. Drink up. Poor. All right, so we're going to cross over this water. I hate crossing this water area, but get across the other side. Once we get across the other side, go around the back. We're going to try and keep pretty well covered. There's a couple of caches located. Hachis, who the fuck you want to call them, located along this bottom bit here. But for now, priority is to get these marked, things marked. Moving along. Uh, this is a duffel bag just over there, which can be useful. I know this one is where you get the unknown key, but it also counts as like an all dead player, an all dead scav, so worth checking. Might get some loot off him sometimes. Going into this elbow, I've spoken about this before. I don't like it personally, I avoid it. I'd rather go in through this way here, it gives you more options. Because you, if you get stuck in that elbow, you, that's not good. It's really not. Now, objective here is literally just to mark that thing and get the hell out of here. As in this area, not the whole map, but... Construction is like... I'm not saying suicide, but it's pretty risky. Looking for snipers, guys. What the fuck was that? I think we were getting sniped at. Could be from that hill over there. The thermal side or something. I 
All right, off the dorms we go. Gonna sit up against this wall for a sec. We've got our two markers secure here now, so. Heal. We search this. That's what we're dealing with there. Health wise. Right, the only two you really, really want to make sure are always full is your health on your thorax and your and your head. I re really don't like the fact that I got shot at before. I'm fairly confident someone's sniping from this hill to my left. There's still that fighting going on back there. I think the way I'm going to play this right now is I'm going to quickly get across the dorms. I'm going to loot the room up the top. And once I loot that room up the top, I'm going to go right back way, the exact same way I came through. Um, the reason behind that is we can hear all the shooting on this on this side of this side here. And possibly there's that guy on that hill that we don't know if he's there or not. So that boss. This is gonna be sketchy. Pretty sure it's scab boss. Golden Zibo. And yeah, so we're going to go back down the exact same path we came, mostly because I want to avoid the risk of players. <clears throat> Cool, we've already cleared that, so unless someone came up behind me, which it's unlikely. Thought I heard someone, sorry. Um, yeah, so it's unlikely that someone is following my exact path. What the fuck? Let's get flashed. What the fuck was that? Stunned. All right, we're in pain now because of that uh that broken arm. All right, we're moving. That was random as fuck. Not the scabs up. a minute. Did I not bring extra ammo? I'm an idiot. So we've got less than half a mag. That shotgun's going to come in handy now. Last time I forgot the keys on customs. This time I forget to bring mags and ammo. Snob scabs up. He's down this back bit, righty. Got him. Cool. We need scab kills for therapists. That's why I'm, I'm picking them off as I go. Remember what I said about halfway through the endurance bar? Trying to keep that up a little bit. All right, we need to scavenge some ammo. Uh, we do have the shotgun as a backup. Make sure that's topped up. Now that all that fighting's already gone down at customs, it's possible also we can scavenge through there to try and get some ammo as well. H2O2 doesn't sell for much, but the spark plug's needed for a quest later on with therapists, so it's always worth holding on to that one.
There's a cache. Righty. I've got a pistol. Alright, don't drink that. This is how you level up your metabolism as, as you go. Just keep drinking every time you see, like, you know, you have a loot a drink. Grab it, drink it. Just keep doing it. If you drink or eat in the stash, it doesn't level up your uh, metabol metabolism at all. So, now an issue we're going to run into is if we get into a fight and we get a blackout leg now, we only have two painkillers left. Um, which is like, oh, I don't know, about five to six minutes worth of, of pain relief, which means we have to pretty much run through the whole map on that six minutes. So this is going back to this shack to drop off this uh, lighter. And from there, I'm going to show you where Cheeky little tr trick, I guess. Alright, so we're 30 seconds. So, once you hand in this item, you no longer need to drop it off again. Like, you need to finish the raid to, to complete it, but you don't need to drop it off again. So, the keys are no longer required, and these keys don't really have any purpose. Like, yeah, there's a green weapon crate, but it's nothing crazy to go over. Um, if you do have a key tool and that, obviously you can leave it in there until you fill the key, key tool up. You want to put more priority keys in there, but now you don't really need them. So um, what I would recommend doing after you've done that, you literally just go here and go, all right, don't need my 303 anymore. Don't need my cabin key anymore. Just make sure you have completed the quest. Let me put this one up here. And there you go. And you could actually put stuff of value in, in this bit here. While we're in here, a splint, CMS, those kind of things would be really nice. Herring's used for the med, uh, for the food box. You want to actually get one of them. Uh, what have we got? Four grips. Anything right now that can get us into a better situation with our, this arm would be nice. <clears throat> you know me and filing cabinets, loving them. I'll keep looting all filing cabinets, looking for the same stuff as usual. And then, um, it's a pretty good chance that the big red's already open now. I don't know if we do want to go in there or not. Uh, we have a 203 key? We do have a 203 key. We'll, we'll take it for now, anyway. Cool. I think I'm going to go through Big Red, just check it, see if it's been opened. Not a big deal. Mostly because I want to go to the uh, the same little cabin thing on the other side here. That's right, so it's not open. Oh, God. Get the shit out of me. Is he? There. So you can stop a reload of a shotgun by uh, just lift or right clicking halfway through the reload and I'll just put the next cartridge in and that's it. I think I just heard another scab there too. Holy crap, he's got a lot in his bag. Juice. There we go. Painkillers. Right, let's avoid that guy. And now. 
Who's pushing me? Oh, we got him. A 209. Sucks. Hoping to add the 136. Move on. So the last two things to mark are behind new gas and in front of old gas. So pretty much the other side of the map. In the meantime, we're going to just keep moving, loot what we can. I was going to check that cabin over there, but... I feel like it might already be looted. I want to know what went on with that flash before. It was so weird. I just got flashed by like a silent grenade. Visible scab, maybe? I don't know. Strange one. Alright, so... Can't see any scabs around here, but I always try and take the low ground just like this anyway. That way you can shoot through this gap here. And you're not overly exposed. Um, players will generally go along this side and down and around. They don't generally just run straight through here. You want to keep an eye out for that too. The good thing is now, we're what, 20 minutes into the raid, there's a very good chance that all the gear players, they're like, oh, I've already killed everyone, I'm out. <clears throat> I've killed everyone of relevance, and then they're out. So, generally, you, you will bump into players a little bit later in the raid, but it's not as often. So, us playing that a little bit slower, going around the all the way around the outside, most of the players already would have pushed through and uh, made it a lot less of a threat to us, so... No one else, now that I've said that, I'll probably get absolutely annihilated, but... See how we go. I do have the 114 key here, I'm tempted to go check out. Um, mostly because <clears throat> of that uh, broken arm. I don't know if it was scav bots in there. It's kind of I've been thinking about it as well. Might have just been a scav. One fourteen being looted. So there's no point even going in there. We touch the body for XP, F for respect, and then out of there. So we're pretty much the way I see it is we're pretty much going behind the, the main play body. So the only people we're really going to run into now is player scavs and maybe come up behind players to get stuck on player scavs, but less likely. Um, all people that got in a big fight down at the boiler end and they're slowly coming back through the map now. A lot of the action I find on customs happens in the first, like, 15 minutes. And then that then it dies off a lot. Another one over here. Down by a tree. I'm trying to remember it. I think it's here. Anyway. I wonder how much of an idiot you look like when you're trying to find those caches. I'm sure you guys are all saying, Oh, it's a cache. Well... 
Depends on where you come from in the world, to be honest. I might call them Karchis from now on anyway. Too far away. All right, so this this is our new gas. And we've got a tanker at the back of that. So what I'm gonna do is gonna loot this real quick before we go over to it. That is well, am I? Hopefully, I'm hoping that's just a scav. I'm not killing them. Oh, big start of there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. That is. I haven't been like this in a long time. All right, we've got the planning done. Right, it's a chunk of used for a quest, so we'll hold on to that one. I reckon I hear someone creeping behind me. Sounded like I heard someone behind me. Just creeping on uh, on metal or something. Sounds like crunchy glass a lot of the time. Is this the fight we want to get involved in? Oh, you see me.
Don't want to be re-picking when I can avoid it. The only way I'm going to have a chance here is if I get to, get to a flank. We've definitely heard him though. We definitely heard him. If I had more ammo in that Vepper, that would have been the biggest difference here. Oh my god, just let us walk out of the hole. Always fight on your terms if you can help a guys. But also, get your objectives done. Operation right now. They're going to keep pushing me, all right? But we can take this all the way back to the last tanker. Fight on your terms. What we can do here is we can go up onto the left-hand side here. We've only got one, one angle to watch, and they can walk straight into us if they want to keep chasing me down. Are you fucking serious, Scav? They're up there. I just saw them on the bridge bit. Ugh. Brute had the wrong gun. Oh, wrong gun again, wrong gun again. Oh. Ah. Ah. We got the quest done at least. I can't believe it. I should just fucking toss the vepo. 
If I had ammo then. Oh my god. My god. Anyway, fun raid. That's the fun of Tarkov right there. Oh. So close. So close. We did a lot of damage then. We did a lot of damage. Well, we'll have to check out the uh the quest. Some of them might be able to hand in. I don't know. Um to wait and see. But yeah, that was fun. That's what Tarko is right there. Fun. And death. Lots of death. Alright, so uh it's still in his handed in, which is nice. Bad rep evidence. Um so this one is the portable cabin key of the factory zone. And then we also had Skier's quest for golden swag. That's uh, done. Didn't have to extract, which is nice. Which opens up chemical part one. Now this, you need the 220 key, which we've already found. We found that one in the following cabinet, I think it was. And then we got a, a loot and item on customs. And then friend from the West part one, which is just kill uh, five USEC, handing two MBS backpacks and an AVS rig. Now the AVS rig doesn't have to be found in raid if I'm, uh, if I remember rightly. And neither does the MBSS backpacks. So really all we need to do is, for that one, is to uh, kill USEX. And we can buy the rest on the flea market. So it's no big deal. Um, 10,000 XP for 700 US dollars. But from from the West Part 2 requires 5,000 US dollars, which is quite difficult. But, um, well, it's not difficult. It's just expensive. Like, we need 500,000 rubles for it. You can just buy them up here. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to finish up this one here. Thanks for watching another video. Hopefully, you guys liked it. It was it was a longer one, but it was also really good because explained a lot, talked about tactics of how to do things. I was right. I did run into play scavs. Um, but yeah, uh, if you liked it, guys, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week, so go down the link below. Give me a follow over there. Any tackle questions, as always, hit me up during my live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, I'll see you next time. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. I don't know the next line, so I'm just going to finish this here. Oi.